Yeah, oh, yeah, okay, Mr. President, yeah, I know I did a good job on Bin Laden, but I'm just not available. Wait. My math senses are tingling. Feels like somebody needs help with centripetal force equations. Superhero maths team. Assemble! this time, mechanics man? Earthquake, tsunami, terrorists? Worse. Some people have a mechanics exam. Good God! Well, let's just write up some equations on the whiteboard. No physics, boy. That's exactly the kind of teaching that got them into this mess. The people need facts, equations, applications, explanations. Let's do this! First of all, Graph Girl shall be demonstrating circular motion for us. Take it away, Graph Girl. The angular speed is equal to the angle I was going over the time it took me. For an object to move in a circle, a constant force must always be applied towards the centre of the circle. But mechanics man, surely a force has always got to have an acceleration applied, and the speed is staying the same. Yes, physics boy, but you're not thinking straight. What about the direction? This is velocity we're talking about. Here, the velocity is changing as the object is accelerated towards the middle. Gee whiz, mechanics man, if only I could be like you. Of course, the most important things are the equations that govern circular motion. Mechanics man's got more on one of the most important, I believe, centripetal force. The centripetal force is predicted by my mass times my velocity squared over the radius. But physics boy, what if I need to work out the linear speed, and all I have with me are the radius and the angular speed? Tell me what to do. My linear speed is equal to my radius times my angular speed. I sense evil approaching. Watch out, mechanic man. There's a scary 3D question. Oh, no, I'm mechanic man. Help me, physics boy. How do I defeat him? When faced with a 3D problem, just treat it as a 2D problem, but in the plane of the circle. Make sure you resolve all your forces into that plane. Thank you, physics boy. Armed with this new knowledge, I'm back in the game, and I'm ready to take down this 3D problem. Step 1. Resolve the tension horizontally. <coughs> Step 2. Use my centripetal force equation. <coughs> Step 3. Equate them and solve for T. Whenever. Tell us what you know! Who sent you? Uh, Linear Lass sent me. Linear Lass? Who's Linear Lass? I'm sick and tired of running around in a circle. When the centripetal force is removed, the object continues to move along a straight line. Linear motion is the only motion for me! <laughs> Holy potatoes, mechanics man. What's happened to Graph Girl? I'm not Graph Girl anymore, I'm Linear Lass! Our circular motion turns as the pendulum swings. We must use this great power to defeat Linear Lass for the good of mankind.
F equals mv squared over r. Ah! V equals u plus at. Ah! A equals r omega squared. Ah! F equals ut plus half at squared. Ah! Physics boy, she's too powerful. What are we going to do to defeat her? The only way to defeat her, mechanics man, is to use the circular motion swipe. Finally, we have defeated Linear Last, Physics Boy. But Graph Girl, she was such an important friend to us. I shall always be with you.